I don't even know where to start right now. I, I'm super stressed and I'm super, uh, what's the word? I'm just, I'm overwhelmed right now. Am I allowed to say that? All right, guys. So it's 1.40 in the morning right now. Okay, this isn't even a question anymore. This is 100% the busiest I've ever been at school in my entire life. Get it together. Child, when you're out on your own, a million miles from home, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your... How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Gianluca, and I'm a second-year medical student studying in Canada. It's about 4 o'clock right now. Just got back up to the house. I went home this last weekend to spend some time with my family because it was Halloween. So happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you guys had some fun this weekend, whatever it was that you were doing. I woke up this morning pretty early. I got all my Anki cards done for the day already, and I also had some online class. And I was trying to stall for a little bit, trying to get back up here because it's November 1st, and it actually snowed last night. We got quite a bit of snow, and I wanted it to melt before I drove back up. But then now, this is only a few hours later, and you can see there's nothing left. Now, also, I'm clean shaven right now, or at least I was yesterday. This is officially day two of my Movember campaign. For the entire month of November, all of the ad revenue that's made from this channel is going to be donated directly to charity, and I'm gonna do that in a video on the last day of the month. So if you guys wanna help out, feel free to smash that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Maybe share the video with a friend because it is for a good cause. Tis the season, I guess. So just got back from Walmart, had to restock on pretty much everything, but I also picked up some of this today, which is some pre-workout, and it's gonna be my secret weapon for the next 30 days, because in addition to growing out the mustache, I'm also gonna be working out every single day for the next 30 days. The gym's still open over here, um, so that's days that I have class, days that I don't have class, days that I'm in the hospital, days that I'm not, uh, and I think it's gonna be a really good secret weapon to have just to make sure that not only could I get in there every single day, but that I'm going hard when I'm in there. And it also says, look, it even says next gen right on the label so right over there so i think it's going to do us really well for the next month it's 9 30 right now i just got back from the gym my schedule is a little bit off right now because i've been really busy lately and i'll tell you a little bit more about that tomorrow this week is going to get really hectic for tonight though uh, i'm going to try and go to sleep at 10 o'clock because i do want to wake up tomorrow at 5 a.m and do my next workout so workout number three for november so for the last half an hour right now i brought my piano up from home because i found that i'm spending way more time here now than at my parents house so i'll be on there for the next 30 minutes then i'll go to sleep we'll see you guys tomorrow I don't even know where to start right now. I, I'm super stressed and I'm super, uh, what's the word? I'm just, I'm overwhelmed right now. Am I allowed to say that? Woke up this morning, we had class for like three hours or two hours and then uh, I studied a whole bunch afterwards and then now we got to do, uh, I'm at the hospital and we're going to do our in-person part of learning for today. And then the day just never ends. That's, that's the point I was trying to get across right now. Anyways, I don't really know what else to say, but Ever since I woke up this morning, it's just been nonstop. And then right after this, I got to go home and there's still so much to do tonight. I feel like that's one of the central concepts that I've been noticing lately with medical school. It's not so much that anything is really just hard. It's that the amount of things never seems to end. The list just keeps growing no matter how many things I keep checking off by myself. And then to make things worse, I just keep putting more things onto my plate as time goes on. Uh, and I know I do it to myself, but I, I do it because... I like it like I it's a weird feeling and then I hate myself for it after but in the moment I take on these things because I want to do them and then it just builds up so high sometimes we end up here but anyways we're gonna stay positive right now you gotta have that just get up and go get it done mindset so we're here at the hospital get it together I'm gonna put my mask on I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna learn the lymph nodes and ENT exam and then I'm gonna go home and crush all the work that I have to do so we'll see you guys in a little bit 
So back from the hospital now, uh, I gave myself a quick outfit change really quick, trying to make myself look presentable. I had to pull it together after the hospital. I just kind of came to the conclusion that uh, it's going to be a late night and there's a lot of stuff that I got to get done. So right now I'm going to be a panelist for a medical school panel. They're going to have me and a few other medical students come on and talk to some of the pre-med students. And I'm really looking forward to that because I love doing those types of things. But then after that, I have some research work that I have to do. We're reviewing a few abstracts um, in preparation for tomorrow's meeting. So that's going to take a while. Then I have to do Anki and then I also have to do some additional studying for one of the classes that I have tomorrow morning. So it's probably going to be a super late night. I'm probably not going to sleep before 2 a.m. But uh, I got my coffee ready for that somewhere over there. So see you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone. Uh, so my name is Gianluca. I'm a second year medical student at uh, McMaster University right now. All right, guys, so it's 1.40 in the morning right now. I'm just finishing up reviewing the papers that I had to do for tonight. Uh, I got about two left, and then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm really, really tired right now. So there's no way that I'm waking up super early tomorrow. I'm going to sleep in, and I'll go to the gym sometime in the afternoon. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys ever have one of those days where you wake up from a long night and your room is an absolute mess? Like, I got to I gotta clean this entire thing up. I, I don't even know how this happened, to be honest. Now, I've got another really, really busy day planned today, but I feel like I've been saying that about all my days lately. So today, we're just going to slow it down in the beginning. Enjoy the walk. It's 15 degrees Celsius right now, which is crazy because we just got snow on like Sunday. And guys, that's like a really important part about medical school. I can't stress this enough. Just every now and then, whenever you have even a little bit of a chance, I always like to slow it down and really just take care of your mental health. You know, go for a walk, do something that you enjoy. And uh, that's what we're gonna start off with today. So also we had to do our rankings today for our third transitional elective. And basically the way it works is you sign up and then it's like a lottery to see who gets what and who gets to go where. So uh, I signed up for like a few things. There's emergency medicine, internal medicine, critical care. There's a few different surgical things on here. And then it's gonna be picked pretty much randomly. So I just needed it to fit with my schedule right now. But the plan is to get into the hospital and like really emergency medicine, family medicine, all these things are gonna allow me to interact with a whole bunch of patients. And it's gonna let me like build the clinical skills that's gonna be really important moving forward. Is this even a medical school vlog if I'm not doing Anki today? So I know you guys have seen the little desk fern that I have in my room, but now I got a palm tree in my kitchen. And at some point we're gonna need a name for him too. But anyways, guys, it's around 9.45 right now. It was another really busy day. I had a meeting that went pretty late. Then I had dinner at around 8.30ish. Uh, then I just cleaned up. I lied down for literally like 20 minutes just to get the willpower to get back up. But now we gotta go work out. Um, and I saw this coming when I said that I was gonna work out for all 30 days straight in November. I knew there was gonna be some rough days. So that is exactly where this is gonna come in handy now. Okay, so I have no idea how strong this stuff is because I never tried this one before. So I think to start off, I'm gonna go half a scoop. Half a scoop sounds pretty good. That literally tastes like I'm drinking a battery. Okay, so good news, bad news. Good news is that was one of the top 10 best workouts of my entire life. Bad news is I have no idea how I'm ever gonna go to sleep tonight. You guys seen this by the way? It's it's 21 degrees right now. We just had snow on Sunday and now it's the hottest day that we've had since August. 
All right, guys, so it's coming up on 3.30 right now. I just got myself some lunch, and that's not okay, by the way. I'm not a very skinny guy, so I do need my food. Uh, normally, I never eat this late. But anyways, I'm taking a quick break because it was a busy morning this morning. Uh, we put up a video early today, me and Sean, actually, uh, Day in the Life comparison vlog, and it seems like you guys are really liking it. So I'm gonna take some time right now to answer everyone's messages because I always get back to everyone's messages here on YouTube. So also, just the quick drip check. This is uh, another Movember item that I have. Um, I told you that I had a lot, guys. But this is day five right now. Uh, the stubble is coming in pretty nicely. And we're going to have an awesome mustache by the end of the month. But I'm hoping that I might be able to shape something for you guys by day seven. I also just found out that the results of the lottery are in for our elective matching. So we're going to go check it out together right now. I still don't know what it is. So I go here to my placement section and I pull up ranking. And we see emergency. So, okay, family medicine. That's awesome. So I'm going to be doing family medicine um, in Niagara, which is great. Um, and and that's, like, that's like the perfect result for me right now. Because if I did psychiatry for my first one, emergency medicine for my second one, and then family medicine, those three are really going to be the best ones, in my opinion, for building up the initial skills that you're going to need for interacting with patients and like getting the work done in the hospitals. Hello, EKG interpretation, my old friend. Okay, this isn't even a question anymore. This is 100% the busiest I've ever been at school in my entire life. So, all day studying. My last class went a little bit late. We just finished up. It's around 7.30 right now. We have our next OSCE exam coming up at the end of November. I have research projects that I'm still going to be working on. And to top it all off, we were just recently given an additional 30 to 40 hours of clinical modules that we have to do online, in addition to our critical appraisal topic assignment that is also due before November 22nd. So, there is a lot going on right now. But everything's going to get done. I just got to trust the process. These things always work themselves out in the end. Um, what the process looks like right now is to pack up my stuff. I'm driving back home tonight to my parents' house because tomorrow there's no class at all. So the plan is to wake up early, uh, schedule in a nice 10 or 11 hour study block and really just start chopping down at that list of things to do. And hopefully that way I'm able to enjoy my weekend a little bit. So uh, let's get moving. <music> Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, and I know normally I don't film on Saturday, but my week's finally done. I got everything over with, and I want to make up for my lack of filming yesterday. And I also want to show you the resolution, because I know it was a super hard week, but we got everything done. Now it's time to take the day off. I'm a little bit nervous, because I'm at my buddy Andrea's house right now. He wanted to go for a jog this morning, and the reason why I'm nervous is because me and Andrea went to high school together, and we were on the track team together, but he was actually good. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit more than a jog. Let me just get the stash real quick yeah, in there. Yeah, man, get it. Dude, how long of a run are we going for today? Uh, we're going to go for a 5K. A nice but 5K around the neighborhood. Guys, I haven't you know. done 5K since Tough Mudder. Just full disclosure. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. We're going to put him through the ringer today. I mean, he's, he's had a couple of jaws, but he's still... <laughs> Baby, hello. Where are we right now? We're gonna get your mustache. I was gonna say haircut, but uh -uh. mustache. This is cut. just a mustache. <laughs> yeah. And and how does how does Nikki feel about the mustache? You know, it was a real shocker when we first started dating, and uh -huh. I realized that you're gonna have a mustache for my birthday. Her birthday is November 13, <laughs> and every right single year that falls right in the middle of, of November. So, uh, checking with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, and that's going to be it for me. It's Saturday night right now. It's just after like five o'clock. So the plan's going to be to take a quick nap. Then I'm going to wake back up, edit this video, get it posted for tomorrow. And then that way I could get right back to studying tomorrow afternoon. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to end up calling this video the busiest week in medical school that I've ever had so far. And there's nothing clickbaity about it. It definitely lives up to the hype. But I'm sure that there's going to be more of these in the future. And there might be for you guys, too. I think the takeaway from this week is that when you are put up against the wall with some of these busy weeks, just put your head down, get your work done, trust the process, but then also take care of yourselves as well, because there's always going to be something good on the other side of it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. We'll see you all in the next one. Everyone take care.